An adenoma is a benign tumor of epithelial tissue with glandular origin, glandular characteristics, or both. Adenomas can grow from many glandular organs, including the adrenal glands, pituitary gland, thyroid, prostate, and others. Some adenomas grow from epithelial tissue in non-glandular areas but express glandular tissue structure. Although adenomas are benign, over time they may transform to become malignant, at which point they are called adenocarcinomas. Even while benign, they have the potential to cause serious health complications by compressing other structures and by producing large amounts of hormones in an unregulated, non-feedback dependent manner. Some adenomas are too small to be seen macroscopically but can still cause clinical symptoms. Histopathology, adenoma is a benign tumor of glandular tissue, such as the mucosa of stomach, small intestine, and colon, in which tumor cells form glands or gland-like structures. In hollow organs, the adenoma grows into the lumen, adenomatous polyp or polypoid adenoma. Depending on the type of the insertion base, Adenoma may be pedunculated or sessile. The adenomatous proliferation is characterized by different degrees of cell dysplasia irregular cells with hypertraumatic nuclei, stratified nuclei, nucleolus, decreased mucosecretion, and mitosis. The architecture may be tubular, villus, or tubulovillus. Basement membrane and muscularis mucosi are intact. Locations Colon, adenomas of the colon, also called adenomatous polyps, are quite prevalent. They are found commonly at colonoscopy. They are removed because of their tendency to become malignant and to lead to colon cancer. Renal, this is a tumor that is most often small and asymptomatic, and is derived from renal tubules. It may be a precursor lesion to renal carcinoma. Adrenal. Adrenal adenomas are common, and are often found on the abdomen, usually not as the focus of investigation. They are usually incidental findings. About 1 in 10,000 is malignant. Thus, a biopsy is rarely called for, especially if the lesion is homogeneous and smaller than 3 cm. Follow-up images in 3 to 6 months can confirm the stability of the growth. While some adrenal adenomas do not secrete hormones at all, often some secrete cortisol, causing Cushing syndrome aldosterone causing Combs syndrome, or androgens causing hyperandrogenism. Thyroid, about 1 in 10 people is found to have solitary thyroid nodules. Investigation is required because a small percentage of these is malignant. Biopsy usually confirms the growth to be an adenoma, but, sometimes, excision at surgery is required, especially when the cells found at biopsy are of the follicular type. Pituitary, Pituitary adenomas are seen in 10% of neurological patients. A lot of them remain undiagnosed. Treatment is usually surgical, to which patients generally respond well. The most common subtype, prolactinoma, is seen more often in women, and is frequently diagnosed during pregnancy as the hormone progesterone increases its growth. Medical therapy with cabergolin or bromocryptine generally suppresses prolactinomas. Progesterone antagonist therapy has not proven to be successful. Parathyroid, an adenoma of a parathyroid gland may secrete inappropriately high amounts of parathyroid hormone and thereby cause primary hyperparathyroidism. Liver, see hepatocellular adenoma. Hepatic adenomas are a rare benign tumor of the liver, which may present with hepatomegaly or other symptoms. Breast, breast adenomas are called fibroadenomas. They are often very small and difficult to detect. Often there are no symptoms. Treatments can include a needle biopsy and or removal. Appendix. Adenomas can also appear in the appendix. The condition is extremely rare. The most common version is called cystadenoma. They are usually discovered in the course of examination of the tissue following an appendectomy. If the appendix has ruptured and a tumor is present, this presents challenges, especially if malignant cells have formed and thus spread to the abdomen. Bronchial, bronchial adenomas are adenomas in the bronchi. They may cause carcinoid syndrome, a type of perineoplastic syndrome. Sebaceous, 
A sebaceous adenoma is a cutaneous condition characterized by a slow-growing tumor usually presenting as a pink, flesh-colored, or yellow papule or nodule. Salivary glands, also major and minor salivary gland adenomas are common. The parotid gland adenomas are more frequent tends to become adenocarcinomas. Treatment a physician's response to detecting an adenoma in a patient will vary according to the type and location of the adenoma among other factors. Different adenomas will grow at different rates, but typically physicians can anticipate the rates of growth because some types of common adenomas progress similarly in most patients. Two common responses are removing the adenoma with surgery and then monitoring the patient according to established guidelines. One common example of treatment is the response recommended by specialty professional organizations upon removing adenomatous polyps from a patient. In the common case of removing one or two of these polyps from the colon from a patient with no particular risk factors for cancer, thereafter the best practice is to resume surveillance colonoscopy after 5 or euro 10 years rather than repeating it more frequently than the standard recommendation. See also, adenocarcinoma, references. External links, Adrenal Adenoma Description at 0007 at Chorus, Photos at Atlas of Pathology.